Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, when I was a kid, there was a TV show called Mission Impop Impossible. And Peter Graves played the lead, Mr. Phelps. And every week they would open with him finding a recorder somewhere. And they would open with, Good evening, Mr. Phelps. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, and so on. And then shortly after the message would end, it would say, this message will self-destruct in five seconds. Well, I have a bit of a mission, mission impossible in front of me here. This heavily corroded, split, split an image, red line, that I actually picked up in a uh, box, or is in a bag, a $5 bag, along with a decent little uh, custom fleet side, which I had a lot of paint left on it. This one has no paint left on it, uh, except a little around the windows, which are cracked. Anyway, all that to be said, all that being said, uh, this is probably going to turn out to be a custom. However, it does have all its axles. And uh, the alternative is I clean it up enough that I can do an enamel paint job on it. If I can clean it up enough. I've never encountered a Hot Wheels car this corroded or any other die cast. So let's go ahead and get this torn apart and see what we're up against other than the obvious. Everyone, please stay tuned. Okay, we uh, got our split image all drilled apart. Gonna have to try to drill and tap those posts, which are tiny, of course. And this window will definitely need to re be replaced. It has cracks in both shells. The interior, though, is in really good shape. But the way these are put together, the window really just effectively seals itself against the interior part and we have our base which is surprisingly not as corroded in many ways as the body now the body was originally spectra flame purple so if I can get this back by some miracle I think it's probably going to wind up being spectra flame purple again all right, let's move along and see what kind of miracles we can pull off. Stay tuned, everybody.
And here is a quick look back at where we started. Heavily co corroded, red line, split an image. Let's take a look, get to the reveal, and see how this turned out. Everybody, please stay tuned. And here it is, our completed basket case, red line 1969 split and image. And uh, honestly, I am surprised, <laughs> to say the least, that it came out this nice. I uh, actually robbed the engine and the Glasses, glass units out of a Hot Wheels Vintage series that uh, I'm not sure exactly when that came out, but uh, had to make a few little changes to the engine. There are only two tabs that hold it in the modern version, while there were four in the old. And the tab at the back that used to go into the body, I had to remove that because they moved the placement of that and put on a new set of wheels from Bright Vision and I went with the chrome deep dish red line wheels but honestly and I, all I did was clean up the interior uh, the glass I did buff out a little bit and dipped in some pledge but uh, when I uh, was trying to drill uh, one of the posts it blew out and rather than fixing either one of them I uh, just super glued it back together. It's just going to be sitting on my shelf, so <laughs> I didn't see the point in uh, making a big deal out of it. It's just going to be mine. And, uh, but I mean, uh, I did not expect it to come out this nice. Uh, I was prepared to just uh, stick a big engine in it and some, uh, maybe some red, uh, real riders. And, but, uh, once I started working on the heavy corrosion, especially on that le uh, the right left front fender uh, on the base and on the uh, body casting, I didn't expect anything near this. I uh, <clears throat> painted it, uh, shot it with the metal cast base coat, and then went over that with the metal cast purple. And once I had all that done and it was dry, I hit it with a little Minwax Clear. And here it is. Uh, all I can say is I'm surprised. Uh, did not expect it. But anyway, happy with, the, very happy with the way it came out. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And... Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please do. And uh, tell your friends, share with them. As you can see, the I, I did polish the base. Couldn't get all the toning out, but I polished it as much as possible. And uh, But uh, again, very happy with the way the little car turned out. And it started out Spectre Flame, flame Purple. So I just thought, well, I'll just bring it back with a little darker shade in the uh, metal cast. So anyway, I will see you in the next.